Strategic Development for Military Services Bureau recently concluded a threat assessment and weapons readiness review. Increased public intolerance for casualties during engagements utilizing conventional weapons systems necessitated radical new thought on future military operations and weapon systems development. As a result of a high-level directive from the Commander-in-Chief Technical Intelligence Services, research commenced on the next generation of space-based hardware. On February 26th, Dr. Edmund Wellington assembled the top leaders of the military-industrial complex for a frightening demonstration of the resulting new weapons system. Shall we get on with the ship? The Admiral's on a tight schedule, sir. All right, gentlemen, we'll get right to it, Thompson. I'd like to thank you all for coming here today to our humble little home. big day for all of us at Wellington Consulting, and it is my honor to introduce to you the reason we're all here today. My boss, a man who is no stranger to any of you in the scientific research and development of advanced defense weapons community. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Edmund Wellington. Admiral Denton, distinguished guests, my colleagues at Wellington Consultant Family, the scientists and associate researchers, welcome to a new age. The future is here now, today, in the form of the Neuralator, the single greatest development in advanced weapons technology since the atom bomb. From the inception of the Neuralator, we all realized, as so many of you did, that the future of warfare no longer lies in conventional or nuclear arms. But within the minds of our enemies themselves, what is the greatest single asset the enemy has? Military hardware. No. Software. No. It's people. And you realized in your foresight that if we could change this asset, turn it around against them with minimal damage to our young, brave men and women, victory would be certain. So we at Wellington humbly and gratefully accepted the challenge to develop the Neuralator. Brain wave modification, neurological impulse remapping, psychosurge pulse, particle beam. We all know the, the buzzword. But will it really work? That's the question you want answered here today. Well, two months ago, we launched Neuralator on a low Earth orbit on board Sat System 4471. And I'm pleased to announce that the Neuralator passed all of its preliminary tests with flying colors. So today, for the first time, you're going to have a demonstration of the Neuralator on an actual test subject. Please notice carefully. As you can see, the test subject is, is fearful. 
is docile. Thank you. Any aggressive impulses he may have had are completely suppressed. Using GPS, Global Positioning System, we're able to pinpoint the subject and focus the beam down to within 60 square decimeters. Proceed with the Neuralator. Neuralator launch sequence commencing. Launch codes check. T minus 10. GPS acquisition. Lock on. Five, four, three, two, one. Fire. We are witnessing the metamorphosis process. The test subject's normal behavior inhibitors are being scrambled by the intense electroneurological activity. His normal fight-flight responses to external stimuli are turning into fight-kill responses. We obtained this gang member from corrections. This man was on death row for murder. physiological impulses that we translate as pain. I now used to stimulate the subject. Creating a, an adrenaline rush, if you will. 105, holding steady at 106. Heartbeat holding steady at 106. Metabolic rate at 60. Oh, oh. 75. Uh, test subject should be going into SDP right now. What's happening? What's going on? There's no apparent diminishment. Doctor, we have a problem. Subject eventually weakens, and death follows soon after. Uh, sir, I need to talk to you. Excuse me. The uh, test subject is not entering the self-destruct phase. Cut the feed and dispose of them manually. Right. Well, well, we won't uh, bother you with the self-destruct sequence anyway. Smart weapons, good as far as they go, but now obsolete. Imagine this scenario. An enemy command bunker. Under conventional circumstances, we attack with air power, putting one of our own fellows at risk. But with Neuralator, we can turn one of them, even a lowly private. He enters the bunker, does the job for us. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the beginning of a new era. Damn fine job. Thank you, sir. I want to review your data, naturally, ASAP. Jenkins. Yes, sir. Have the car brought around? Damn fine work. Thank you, Admiral. Oh, gentlemen, I'd love to stay and celebrate. Uh, I have to catch a plane to Hawaii. Cybercom convention. Take care. Good to see you. The X-7. Bunch of crap. We should have shut him down years ago to pop this bastard. Thank you, Dr. Wellington. Thank you. Operation of wide range of full-size frontline weapons. I'm sorry. They are taking full advantage of the capability of frontline A little problem, thank you. The uh, demonstration uh, has been terminated. Not a word to anyone, you understand? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Driven by excellence, Wellington delivers.
I want you to stop reading your comic books and find out what happened after Wellington shut off the display. I want to know why we didn't see this test subject self-destruct. Yes, sir. I don't trust this Wellington guy. I think he's full of crap. Power, performance, providing solutions with a standard of excellence. Wellington Systems Group, a division of Wellington Group 5. The new era is here. Doc Wellington! Senator Williams, congratulations. Quite an impressive presentation. Thank you, sir. I'd like to say that I'm convinced, but I, I don't know. I'm going to have to take a real good hard look at those figures. Oh, well, thank you, sugar. Well, I think Wanda here would be pleased to go over those figures with you. You could use the privacy of my office if you'd like, wouldn't you, dear? Of course. Well, it sure looks like Wanda's got a few figures that need going over. I think you'll find out that Wanda has a real firm grasp of our customer relations policy. You yeah, know I bet she does. <laughs> oh, hey, by the way, I'm going down to the Bahamas with the wife. Could you send a few first-class tickets over to the office? No problem. I'll take care of you. Oh, that's great. Come on, Sean. It's a freeloader. Testing today on a new system for Wellington Consulting. Striving for excellence. 1,700 hours. The lab assistant returns to his home. Assistant's friends are over watching the big game. and staff search for answers. I want to know why the nervous system did not degenerate. No, sir, we are checking the data right now. That's not good enough. It's not good enough. Sir, the data indicates a region of non-compliance. He should have dissolved into mush just like the lab rats. Sir, we're running a playback of the new relation sequence now. Stop the tape. Stop, stop the tape. There, there. Give me that lab technician. I want to know what happened right there. that the neurolator energy is in fact transmittable. Uh, the test subject has transmitted the neurobeam into the lab assistant.
Well, it appears we've got ourselves a situation. All right, people, listen up. I'm calling this a level five emergency. I want total force on the scene ASAP. Oh, come on, sir, do you think that's real? Just do it. Yes, sir. 1725. The elite special forces unit, known only as Total Force, is called to the lab assistant's house. Listen, we've got contact. Uh, visuals at Kuwantrid, Suzu XY. IR scan active. Magnification QX6. Yeah, looks like we got four of them lit up, Slade. All right, TF uh, Southwest 3117. Yeah, we've got contact. We've got spearheads at uh, three sectors. Tell me why I shouldn't be home right now drinking a cold one sitting in front of a 50-inch watching Green Bay kick ass. Because you ain't got a 50-inch TV. Besides that. So we got a situation here, right? Dr. Wellington said you were the ones to handle it. Run it down. Uh, four subjects. All have been turned by the influence of the Neuralator. So Wellington actually did it. What's the world coming to? I got uh, Dr. Wellington via comlink here. You want to talk to him? Oh, good. Tell him when it's over, he can blow me. I'm not, I'm not going to say that. It's just code, kid. Relay the message. National security depends on it. Hey, he says that uh, once the mission is completed, you can, you can blow him. Why don't you come over here and tell him yourself? Excuse me. So, Doc, once again, I'm taking out your garbage. Look, Greg, uh, let's get this straight right off the bat. Hey, you don't like me, and I don't like you, so what? Why don't you act like a pro and do your job? You get us through this one, and I promise you... You, you promise what? Lifetime of obscurity? One thankless, dirty little mission after the next? Well, I suppose you'd rather be back there rotting in the stockade. Do you remember I'm the one that got you reassigned, you ungrateful son of a bitch? Yeah. Wrecked my life in the process. Thanks, Doc. Look, Drake, neither of us has to like this. You understand? You're the only disposal unit I have that's been briefed in the Neuralator. Nobody else even knows it exists. And it's going to stay that way, nice and quiet. You got it? Yeah. Quiet, huh? So I guess I'm supposed to reason with these guys. Gain their trust, make friends, talk them down. Tell you, why don't you order us a few pizzas for halftime? Uh, very funny, Drake. Very funny. Just do your job. Neuralator's about to get the green light. So what is this? What, you hit a little speed bump on your way to global domination, Dr. Frankenstein? Listen, I don't want to be the one... Look, Drake, I don't give a goddamn what you want to be. This is the one... Boring conversation. Drake? 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 Come back, you son of a bitch! What are you sitting around? What do you got? Uh, heat sensors detect shitheads at sectors three, five, and seven. Is this one of them uh, new video games? My little nephew would love this. See, he's seven years old. It's uh, advanced infrared. It's reading their body heat signatures. Pretty pictures. Latest tools of the trade. Well, you got yours, I got mine. Let's go.
the downside right 14 now. 10, Green Bay is losing. That's it. Now I'm mad. stuff coming out of his skull. Sooner or later, it turns the brain to jello. It was more like tapioca pudding. Maybe bread pudding. You ever have it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's getting away, Drake? We've analyzed the test data from the Neuralator demonstration. Go on. We believe that the Neuralator subject failed to self-destruct. That's why Wellington cut off the feet. Really? Any proof? Uh, no, sir. All the data's been scrubbed. But we have intercepted some burst code transmissions from Wellington's research facility, and we've discovered some very unusual activity at the lab assistance quarters. Sir, it appears that John Drake was called in. And you know that must be trouble. Drake. He used to be a good man, the poor bastard. Give me Wellington on the comm link. Yes, sir, right away. Tell me the site is secured. Yes, sir. All subjects have been terminated. Right, get, get Drake down here. No, not tonight, honey. Got a headache. For the debrief! Not now. No, sir. The Admiral Denton on Comlick. Oh, great. That's all I need. All right, everybody, just stay relaxed and be cool. I've been reviewing your data, Doctor. How do you get into the data? I'd like a full explanation of the events that transpired at your lab assistant's house. You called in total force. Three civilians were reported dead. What the hell happened? No, Admiral, that's not exactly the truth. We didn't call in total force. We didn't. Drake's been out there operating on his own. A lab assistant is dealing in drugs. And I think Drake is wrapped up in some sort of a scheme that went sour. He's totally out of control, so I recommend we terminate him. I see. 1836. Total Force reports for debris. Sweet home. Sorry for the 
the interruption, gentlemen, but your presence is requested upstairs. Drop your weapons. Hey, come on, guys. We've had enough fun and games for one day. Just do it. So what's this about? Admiral Venn wants to talk to you. Rings a bell, don't it? How is the Admiral? <laughs> You'll soon find out. Disarm him, bring him up. believe this to be true. I know it to be a fact, and I think it's a wise decision. I have to say, Doctor, what you're telling me disturbs me deeply. It's based on a lot of erratic behavior. Bad moments. A part of Drake? At ease, gentlemen. Sir. Dr. Wellington here has been telling me some very disturbing things. Well, it's all bullshit. <laughs> you haven't even heard the charges. Uh, but come on, it's got to be a load of crap. I mean, look at him, sir. He's a suit. Shut up, John. <laughs> You're through, Drake. I can't have a loose cannon on the scene. But, sir. Let's get the hell out of here, Drake. John. You and I go back a long way, I know that. But on this one, I don't care. I can't care about any cockamamie explanations. This one is too important, so you're out. As you may know, we have millions invested in Neuralator. I am not about to let the project be jeopardized, especially in an election year. The president cannot and will not have any bad press about a weapon systems run amok. It'll scare off the voters. This one, gentlemen, is too important. I'm taking charge of the Neuralator program personally. What? And John, if I might add on a somewhat more personal level, you need help, son. See that you get it. Jenkins. Yes, sir. I want level nine encryption placed on all Neuralator net codes. I don't even want to see email going through without wait, wait, my wait, No, wait, wait, wait just a minute. What gives you the right to take over my program? And tell the good doctor. If he ever addresses me in that tone of voice again, he'll be lucky to get a job teaching fifth grade biology. That is all. Yes, sir. From now on, gentlemen, I'm running the show. I fell off. You know, it's pricks like him that give the military a bad name, Drake. What's the matter, Doc? You got followed, were you? No, no, no. Well, that's good. Look, uh, I understand that you might be connected to certain, shall we say, professional people. What are you talking in code or something? What do you want? Mercenaries. It's all here on the disc. Got the money? The money's no object. Can you deliver? Well, I'm just a middleman. But I think I got the guy for the job. D2-0600. International terrorist Jack O'Hara arrives in Los Angeles. Here's all the information. Okay. You put this car in the ocean. Okay? Another job for us. All right, I'm on my way. 
Yeah, meet at the hilltop at 1,500 hours. Make sure everything's in line, taken care of, okay? Don't worry, I'll call everyone. All right, I want to get this done fast, in and out, goodbye, and disturb, okay? <laughs> That's going to be kind of hard, Jack. I don't trust that scumbag, you know that. It's worth a try, though. We don't really have another gig. I'm on my way. Okay, later. Yeah, uh, that's a the doorbell. They're here. I'll see. Fatty partners. Good to see you too, Jack. Ivan the Turk. How are you? What do you say to me? I don't think he likes you. Hey, doll face. You sure are looking good. I swept the joint, all right? It's cool. Yeah. Yeah, what? Just like Bogota. What? What are you talking about that for? You know that wasn't my fault. What is the matter with him? He's allergic to jails. Phone's clean. See? I'm looking after you all, all right? We're a team, right? And a team sticks together, right? Sure they do. I love you guys. Some more than others, but I'm human, right, fellas? Did you just, like, come from a rodeo or something? No, what? Uh... Well, I'm smelling a bunch of bullshit all of a sudden. Maybe it's your shoes. I love it when you talk mean to me. You like it? Oh, sugar, you know it's I do. Disgusting little worm. <laughs> all right, now. Is that any way to treat the man who's about to give you $1 million? What kind of a girl do you think I am? Hmm. All right, cut the bullshit, Eddie. Where is the money? That's what I like about you, Jack. Right to it. Look, Eddie, cut the crap, will you, and show us the green. What is your problem? What's my like? problem? You're a double-crossing snake. Hey, I don't have to take that deal. You don't have a choice, scumbag. All right, cool. It's like, I don't like this, Jack. I'm out of here. All right, relax. It's a bunch of crap. Hey, sit down. Like hell, I will. Hey, Spike! Either I'm running the show, or we settle right now. What's it gonna be? Shut up. Both of you. All right. There's a beauty box. Car fare. My driver's waiting. Hmm. Jack, that was kind of exciting. Yes, it was, but later. Promises, promises. Aren't you going to ask me what the assignment is? What's the difference, Eddie? Well, I think it's kind of important. The target is a black ops research facility. It's some high tech shit. There's secret weapons. And it's about some satellite and ray guns, or something like that. That was enlightening. It's all on the disc. Come and get it, big boy. Spike. All the girl wants is a little attention. What she gets. Who's the client? The money's green. Since when are you particular? Since the last time you screwed us. Oh, man, do I have to take this abuse? I mean, from you is one thing, but when Mr. Cossack man here gets in the act, oh, I'm sorry. I'm a what up, you little son of a bitch? What? That's a good bitch. That's a good bitch. Damn. It's an inside job. Well, Wellington well, set it up himself. Now trained to set com X5, top level. Oh, we should go in under cover. You want to get it? Yeah. Okay. Who is it? 
Miss Richards? Yeah? I'm from Mary J Cosmetics. I'd just like to drop off a few free samples of our new line. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Feels wonderful products. Did I cut you at a bad time? I'm oh, so sorry. <laughs> Why don't you just let me give you a sample of our new perfume? Sure. Drives the men crazy. Oh, great. Take everything. It's all government property, Drake. <laughs> it's all for the best, John. All these material possessions will keep you from your higher self. Yeah, I got my higher self right here. Oh, not the car. <laughs> Belongs to Uncle Sam. <laughs> oh, come on, guys, leave me something. Great. My electronic dog leash. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, 0900. Terrorist training area. Come on, yeah. More powerful. Come on, Buster. Seven seconds to make our move. How's the data? If the network's opened up and the encryption codes are moved, like you said, we should have no problem. All right. How about Barb's? Not bad for American. They will be ready. Good. Yeah. All right. We don't want any fireworks. Security's pretty heavy in there, but we got someone on the inside. All right. Move at 14:30. This sucks. This really sucks. Yeah. They took everything, Slade. Everything except my friggin' beeper. Oh, hell. What are we gonna do? I don't know. I don't think there's anything else to do but drink. <laughs> Haven't you been drinking a little too much? Come on, what are you, my mother? Come on, I, I don't, I know where to draw the line, you know? It's not like I drink in the morning. Well, sometimes. It's not like I get drunk and drive either, but I, I, well, I wrecked that car once. Two cars last year. Oh, I don't remember. And that time in Prague? Well, that's different, man. That was over a woman. 
Yeah, you got a point. I had to sell my shoes to get you out, though. So we don't go back to Prague, okay? Big deal. Yeah. Got those sardines there anyways, all those fish. No, those are carp. Are those carp? Carp. carp. And That's I... That's sick. Yeah, I, I could never say Wenceslas Square anyway. Damien Ubichku is the only thing I learned. Remember that? Damien Ubichku, give me a kiss. <laughs> Damien Ubichku, Damien Ubichku. <laughs> Oh, and the fish, I got food poisoning. Yeah. Prague. Prague. Fucking Prague. Praha. Well, you never know. You might go back someday. Day four, 1300 hours. Going in during daylight's insane. Well, we need something to make it a challenge. We have to be in position at exactly 1,500 hours. That's when Wellington says the net'll be open. Not a problem. No. Better be right. All right, let's move it. the terrorist infiltration of the Wellington Research Facility. I want you three to cover that area. Spike and Boris, you come with me. Hello, darling. I, I think you're looking for section nine down the hallway. Oh, really? Excuse me. Senator Williams is at it again. <laughs> okay. You... Oh my God, that is wonderful. Yeah, look at that. That's hospitality. That's it. Southern hospitality, girl. Yeah, camera five. You were back. <laughs> I was joking. I'm Section 14. Yeah, she's okay. It's one of the Wellington's babes, Richards or something. Yeah, let her in. Passing through. I'll come see you after my shift. No, that was a surprise for you, too. Switch back to five.
1927. Jack clears Sector 12. Boris infiltrates Sublevel 1. Spike heads for Room 212. August enters Sublevel 3. Check this out. Yeah, I knew I should have went into politics. Wellington Systems Group, providing solutions with a standard of excellence. Power, performance, the new era is here. X-16 system integration, wide range of technological... Right, program. The program that I'm trying to program. The Dr. Wellington! <laughs> Those tickets never arrived at my office. You never, you never got the tickets. Did, did Thompson, did you send the tickets over to the Senate? Uh, sure. Yeah, sure. Definitely. The new standard. Proven results. Weapon well, there must be some sort of a mix up. Buffy was so looking forward to getting away for a few days. I'll look into it, don't worry. Uh, thank you. Say, that is a nice watch. Why don't you have one of those sent over as well? Oh, and I'm all out of those Cuban cigars. Dr. Wellington, Elizabeth Richards, remember? Oh, Miss Richards, my pleasure. Doctor, where have you been hiding this one? <laughs> In your dreams, Dick. <laughs> Maybe I should get the senator up on the latest developments. You know, that's an excellent idea. By the way, you could use my private office. Oh, uh, uh, start without me. I, I want to make sure that I understand these developments completely. I sure hope she's got more spunk than the last dead fish you stuck me with. Solutions. Providing the new era in system integration. Power. Performance. Making the grid. Wellington Systems Group. A division of Wellington International. The future is here. Admiral Denton prepares to address the Wellington Center via comlink. Comlink hook up in two minutes, Admiral. Stand by for comlink hook up, Admiral Denton. Next one, please. Hey, check out the new girl on camera five. Yeah, Senator Williams is at it again. So I understand you like to have very thorough briefings. Well, I'm very hands on. I like to have a firm grasp on the material. Okay, honey, let's see what you got. Some information that you'll find very stimulating. Oh, I bet you do. <laughs> Take off my shoe. Well, okay. Mm. As you know, we here at Wellington have uh, improved our uh, operations relationships with the Research Services Department, which is now headed by Admiral Denton. He means he's got his wings clipped. So Admiral Denton would like to give you all a status update, personally. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for attending. I've uh, got a few things to say about Neuralator. Edmund, I'm going to be a little hard on you here, but I uh, think it's best to get things out in the open. Clear the air, so to speak. Spike leaves Sector 13. Proceeding to Sector 14. finished. The technology is just too risky. Oh. 
1441, Jack and Spike enter room 212. Oh, great. Look at this. What idiot wired this place? <laughs> Our tax dollars at work. All right, let's get it on. The clock's ticking. It's going to take a few minutes. I don't care. We don't have a few minutes. Let's go. Don't rush me, man. Huh? I've instructed my programmers to bring Satsis down. Proceed. Roger, removing encryption codes. Neuralator launch sequence encryption code removal. 4415. Come on, Spike. The codes are wrong. What? I'm not getting it. Damn it, failure is not an option. Hey, man, what do you want me to do? I want you to do your goddamn job. Come on. Yeah, sure. Initiate destruct sequence. Uh, affirmative. There are later destruct sequence. T minus 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. Now, Spike. It's not taking it. Come on, Spike. I know. Seven. God damn it, do it. Four. Three. Two. One. Yes, we're in. Downloading data stream. This is a difficult day for me. I had hoped things would never come to this. It is the opinion of the Joint Chiefs that in addition to the specific termination of the Neuralator project, Dr. Edmund Wellington should be removed from his post and all security clearances be revoked. Sorry, Edmund. You just let this one get away from you. Well, that's all right, Bill. It'll, uh... I guess it'll give me a chance to get back to that teaching job. Sure is taking it, Will. Spike, take the control room. Please, don't, don't. I got a wife and kids at home. Hey, I don't sweat it, bub. It's all right one time. Yeah! It's too late. We've already destroyed Neuralator. Shut up! Oh, my God. Jenkins, get me Drake. Yes, sir. Oh, Jesus. Who's calling? Will you just shut up? Someone's got a hook, no. Cut it down. If you have small breasts, put a little silicone in there. The body was made to be augmented. The problem with you, Slade, is you never get out in the real world. Now, all I'm trying to say is that there's nothing wrong with a little plastic surgery. You got to go all wrong. See where it's over there. The wall. The little cowgirl. Yeah. That's white material for me. Oh, all the same. You just tip them upside down, Karen. Damn it. I'm just going to shut up. Okay, Jack. Jack, you gotta listen to me, okay? This is what Admiral Denton's seeing right now. It looks like they're retrieving the downed satellite. We're not gonna have much time before they realize it's the wrong one. No talking. Miss Rao, cowgirl. Who? Cobra woman. Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> Cobra woman. She's a big. She's a big oh, fat. Oh, you, you call my old lady. 
Okay. Just like, shut up. God damn it, just shut up. Why don't you shut up? Wait, 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 wait. Are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Let's take these punks outside. Hey! Hey, yeah, wait, not outside. Hey, 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 outside. Just take it outside. Oh, Nice work, Drake. Thanks. Come on, Admiral wants to talk with you. Well, it's good to see you keeping in shape. Yeah. Well, look, John, I'm sorry about the way things were handled back there. It was wrong. I made a mistake. But don't you ever tell anybody. Your secret's safe with me. So what's happening? We don't know exactly. We sent out a destruct code to the Neuralator satellite. When we retrieved it from the Pacific, the only thing we found was an obsolete communication satellite instead. So what does this Wellington have to say? We have reason to believe this site has been compromised. Have you sent anyone in? That's why I'm here. If there's a problem, we can't use regular troops. We have to be very, very careful. Yeah, of course. Oh, that's right, it's election year. When did you start being such a politician? About the same time you became a drunk, son. Oh, please, don't sugarcoat it. Just be blunt. <laughs> okay, you got me. Or we're receiving a message of a comlink. Patch it through. Yeah, hello, Bill. Uh, I, I think it's time that we have a little chat. Clear the air. The hell do you think you're doing, Wellington? Now listen to me, Bill. You ever talk to me again in that tone of voice, you'll be lucky to get a job. Well, what was it? Teaching fifth grade, so shut up. And listen carefully. I'm going to be a little hard on you, you pompous idiot. I have control in Neuralator. I have hostages. Do you understand this? I'm demanding one billion dollars, Bill. And if you don't do that, I'm going to target the White House. And if you think I'm... I'm kidding. I'm targeting downtown Los Angeles within 30 minutes to show you that I'm serious and to demonstrate my power. you got 12 hours to comply. He's out of his mind. Yeah. Well, insane or not, we have 30 minutes until he neuralates L.A. Jenkins, see to it that Drake gets everything he needs. All right, listen up. Terrorists have seized control of Wellington's research facility. We believe they have control of the neuralator. We'll know for sure in 30 minutes. What I want to know is, Slade, how are we going to find these guys once the beam hits? Got it. We can track them using the Electra imaging scanner. I did some tests on the first bunch of bodies, and they lit the scanner up like a Christmas tree. 
Jenkins, we want choppers in the air 10 minutes ago. Let's go. You're never going to get away with this, Wellington. Somebody shut him up. My pleasure. No! 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 This just in, there's an apparent terrorist takeover and hostage situation at a government research facility. Catherine Flate is standing by live at the Bureau of Information. Catherine, what can you tell us? Well, right now, Roger, the details are sketchy. Um, we do have some video that was released within the facility over microwave link. Actually, we'll play that for you. Okay. This is Senator Williams, and we believe that he's one of the hostages. Uh, Catherine, do we know what's going on? Not really, Roger. Um, it's dangerous to speculate when hostages' lives are at stake. Uh, well, give us your best guess, then. Uh, this is a top-secret facility, isn't it? Right, it is top-secret. It's kept top-secret as a matter of national security. Um, actually, we're going to show you some aerial footage in a minute. OK, wait, there we are. This is a live shot that we're looking at now. The terrorists could be after whatever it is that they do in there, or they could just want money. Roger, we don't know. Thank you, Catherine. Roger. 0700, a secured comlink communication between Admiral Denton and the President of the United States. Stand by for the President. Yes, sir. Now, oh, well, we gotta do something about this. I mean, it's all over the news, you know? I mean, so far we've been lucky, but you know, it's just a matter of time before some jackass goes ahead and reach it to the press that this whole thing is about Neuralator. Now, how much do they want? A billion? Yes, sir. All right, go ahead. Go ahead and pay them off. But and also get uh, Senator Williams out of there. I need to vote on the select committee. Now, who else knows about this? John Drake, total force and a terrorist who have taken over the facility, sir. All right, go ahead and send them in. Send them in. Maybe they'll kill each other off if we're lucky. Um, if not, we'll go ahead and we'll blow the place and blame it on Drake. He's a renegade anyway, you know, and the uh, press will go ahead and eat that shit up alive. Sir, that is sending total force in on a suicide mission. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you have a problem with that. Look, Bill, I mean, if the news gets out, there's fighting in the streets because of your weaponry system. I'm the one who's going to have to go ahead and pay the price in November. So let's get our goddamn priorities straight here. I mean, yeah, I mean I'm talking about my re-election and your goddamn career. And in the light of that, total force is expendable, don't you think? I understand, sir. Yeah, that's what I thought so, too. Twenty-eight, twenty-eight, twenty-eight. Come on, come on. Hey, Drake, get over here. Yeah, what's up? Come on. I've uh, got Admiral Denton on comm link. Drake, I've just spoken with the president. He's authorizing a rescue mission on Wellington's facility. I'm sending you in. I understand. Sir, I'm going to need a floor plan of the compound and any and all information you can get me on Jack and his team. You got it. Listen up. Total force. We're going in. I see that way over there. 0900. Jack O'Hara speaks with Boris. Right. Okay. Let's go. All right, Wellington. The president has agreed to your demands. A smart man. I should have voted for him. On one condition: all evidence of Neuralator be destroyed. Well, as soon as that money is transferred into the Swiss account, you can do whatever you want with Neuralator. <laughs> And I'm sending in total force to dispose of all the terrorists. Only you and Senator Williams get out alive. Well, it's a pleasure doing business with you, Bill. I'll initiate a computer destruct sequence as soon as my chop is safely away. What was that? The bastards won't deal. They want to play hardball. We've got to get to the control room and knock out the Neuralator mainframe. We've got sentries all along sectors 11 and 12. Okay, Slade, in exactly two minutes, you're going to blast them. 
We'll move around to sector five. Now, when the fireworks start, we're going to sweep and clean down to level one. Well, so much for the element of surprise. Well, the way this place is wired, they probably already know we're here. Probably right. Well, then, let's, uh, let's give them a show. <laughs> Ready, boys? Looks like we've got company. Let's go. Proceeding to sector two. Garage level two, ten minutes. Target the neurolator on the hostages. What? Just do it! Scanner, Sector 4. Are they artifacts? Yeah, it looks like the real thing. We could have a compound full of shitheads here. Stone, get down to the control room. Let's find out what's going on. You got it. Set to self destruct. Excellent. Let's go. <clears throat> hey, how much are they paying you for this? Not enough. Why don't you just give up? No, I don't quit no matter what. Well, how about turning your gun on yourself? Not. That's not gonna work. Uh, doctor, you, you, you gotta take me with you, Doctor. 
Well, dude, I'm, a, I'm a United States senator. I'm a, I'm a very powerful man. Tom. Wrong. I can do you anything for you. You're absolutely you. wrong on three accounts. One, you're no longer a powerful man. Two, the question is not what you could do for me, but what I can do for you. And three, pathetic piece of shit. On time, Thompson. Make it fast. The helicopter's out on the pad. Oh, please, have to give me that. Thank you, can they take any taxes out of your pay? No. Cash and carry, brown bag. Why? Yeah, well, it looks like you're gonna have to die, you non-tax paying son of a bitch. Not before you, you flag-waving patriotic bastard. Today's gonna be the day that you die. Hey, I got two Kendall's on me and I'm out of here. What do you want me to do? Maybe neural head. Kill him. Good guys, it's okay. So you're here to rescue me? How can I show you my gratitude? Hey, look, baby, can't you say I'm busy right now? Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Garage and entered it 
Just as soon blow you away. I'm sure you would. You're standing between two charges of C4, my friend. Drop it nice and slow. Nice and easy. So you're the best they got, huh? I'm a little insulted. Listen to me. Wellington is insane. You're working for a madman who's going to... End the world as we know it. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Well, I never cared much for this life anyway. So why you do it? Same as you. It's a job. Yeah, but I was drinking. What's your excuse? All right, just answer me this. Is the money really enough? Get your gun. And there are later the hostages? No, it was Wellington. Son of a bitch made a deal. Let's get him. Well, it looks like Wellington sold us out. Yeah, it probably hopes we'll kill each other off. Yeah, where the hostages get us. Either way, the neurolator's still a secret. Wellington, you some bitch. Drake, I got shitheads all over the place. Hey, what frequency are you guys on? 1225 megahertz. Can you get that? Yeah. Look, Jack, I know this compound. There's only one way out of here. We can't be fighting each other and the hostages, too. All right, we'll have to draw the hostages down to the gauntlet, hit them with C4. End of story. Let's go. Okay. Encryption codes I wrote it myself. Oh, well, turn me on to those. Yeah, I will. to launch missiles at Wellington's facility right away. Proceed. Patch me through on comlink. Yes, sir. Drake, we got incoming. 
Two minutes and counting. What's our status, Slade? Give me a minute. Okay, comm link is up. Drake, you've got to get out of there. The missiles are in the air. Thanks for the tip, Admiral, but why all the hardware? We could have blown there later for you. Drake, you are the target. I shouldn't even be telling you this. Get out of it. And this time, stay dead. Drake! We've lost them. Drake, is that you? Yeah, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd recognize that voice. Drake, we gotta get out of here. Look, Drake, I've got something to tell you. All right, can we get a fix on the helicopter's location? Yeah, I can fix it. All right, hit it with the Norlator. We can't fire it from here. You wanna know why I had you assigned here? Tell me. Wait a minute. I left the back door to the net back in room 212. All right, get on, Spike. I'm on my way. Because I needed a stupid grunt who had his head up his ass to take the ball for me. Drake, he's playing with us. He's playing with us. Drake, he's gonna keep us here until the bomb drops. Just in case things went wrong. We gotta get the hell out of here! So I got you. Burned out bump, stockade. Okay, I've got it. Reactivating the control for sepsis. Wait a minute, he's changed the code. That's not gonna cut it, Spike. Don't worry, just tell me when you're locked on. Okay, Spike, give it full power. Just tap into the aux bus. But that'll destroy the system. That's the whole idea. Missile impact in 30. We gotta move. She's coming online. Oh, by the way, Drake, you'll be dead in 30 seconds. Drake! Come on! Got it. All right, get out of here. I'm on fire. Jameson. Yo. Clear out Sector 7. Jack. Jack, we'll be waiting for you. Go, go, go! Let's go.
So, you found Wellington's escape route. I'll make you a deal, Drake. What is it? You go your way and I'll go mine. Hey, where are you going? I don't know. The feds are gonna kill you when they find you. I've been dead before. It's no big deal. Look, I got a transport moving into Prague. Then we're gonna get Wellington's money in Switzerland. So you should retire. Yeah, I should. So should you. But I'll make you a partner 50-50. I'll think about it. Hey, Jack. I'll see you on the next one. 